This is FSD Beta 11.4.4, .4, sort of. So I have the car in auto steer because uh, my wife had been complaining about an issue on McMullen Road uh, in Riverview, Florida. Uh, my wife refuses to use FSD Beta for, she, you know, no computer should have that much control over the car kind of thing. So she's been on auto steer, and the issue she's noticed is the car stops for an imaginary stop sign. Slows way down at the very minimum. And then it goes back up again. And I'll, I'll turn FSD bait on and demonstrate that that doesn't happen there. Alright, so now we're going to approach the same intersection from the other side. And this time there is someone behind me, so I'm not going to let it stop. But I am going to try and demonstrate the behavior here. No. There it is. So we're stopping for no reason, basically. So now, I'm going to, I have done that in the past where it auto steer said stopping for a stop sign or something like that, but I'm going to put it in park and turn FSD beta back on and show that the problem goes away. Alright, so I've turned FSD beta back on, and we'll just go through the same spot. See, this time there was no braking at all whatsoever. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing uh, in the other direction. argument could be made, well the car in front of you isn't braking, blah 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 blah, but last time there was no car and it still braked, so again, the main reason I highlight this behavior difference is um, a lot of people complain about phantom braking on uh, regular autopilot, and I think it's reacting to things that just don't exist, well, as would be the name by phantom braking, right? Now, because I'm a huge fan of consistency, we're going to do it one more time. This time, I remembered I forgot to turn on navigate on autopilot, so we're going to turn that off, but we are in auto steer. And I think this time it'll show that stop sign that doesn't really exist. Or, well, give a warning about it. but it's at least consistently reproducible. So, and again, just in the interest of consistency, is the same thing in the other direction. Um, but the, the main takeaway to take from this is anybody who's complaining about regular autopilot having issues, um, yes, FSD beta does perform better. So this is weird, right? It's stopping, it's confusing that guy. And if I let it, it would stop. I'm holding the gas to make it keep going so that guy's not confused and all that. And there's traffic behind me, blah, blah, blah. But again, the main takeaway here is... Um, 
yes, auto steer will behave differently. Basic, basic autopilot will behave differently than uh, FSD beta. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, if you want the best, you subscribe for FSD beta and hope you can get into the beta program and start using it. And in fact, that problem is likely going to make my wife use FSD beta more often now, ironically enough. But I'm um, hopefully the FSD beta code eventually gets brought down to basic autopilot so everybody can end up with, you know, somewhat the same performance there. But thanks for watching.